Hi there, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Giving our glory to our Father, Daddy, Yahweh, Elohim, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Holy Bible. Giving our glory and honor to Yeshua, our coming King, the Messiah, our salvation, our Savior, our brother, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Thanking the Holy Spirit who is sent out from God to all those who repent of sin and make a decision to live according to the will of God. I thank the Holy Spirit for revealing all truths. Thank you. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, I wanted to go over an important um, topic. Heed this. There's millions, I can say billions of believers who have, right now, are dreaming and having visions where this prophecy has been fulfilled. For the Lord said, I believe it's in the book of Joel. And also in the New Testament where he said in the last days he will pour out his spirit. And that spirit is the Holy Spirit. He will pour out his spirit unto all inhabitants of the earth. I mean, that goes with children. I mean, babies that can barely speak. Okay, you hear the YouTube videos, you see these babies barely speaking, but they're trying to make up words of uh, uh, Yeshua's second coming. This is a baby that kept saying, King is coming, up, up, and then she bows, King is coming, babies, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. You get um, preschoolers, uh, teenagers, adults, older. The Lord says in the last days, we already know we're living in the last days, but it has already been confirmed when the 12 disciples received the Holy Spirit that marked the last days. The Lord said, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit. This pouring out his spirit is pouring out his spirit like rain, like dew from the morning rain. He said, I will pour out my spirit unto all the inhabitants. Of the earth. He said, and your children will prophesy. This prophesy is basically saying your children will testify of not only God, but Yeshua. Not only Yeshua, but of uh, upcoming events. Not only that, they will reveal, they will be, they would, um, God will reveal certain things to them which they did not know aside from this revealing. This is the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God testifies. The Spirit of God tells you about future destruction. Anything that's about to happen, the Spirit of God lets you know to the point where you will yourself confirm and have a testimony, a personal testimony. Each individual has their own personal testimony of the true Messiah. Of the true Messiah. Okay? Your dreaming about Yeshua's second coming is true. He's never been more closer to coming back on earth than now, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. But the thing is, you must heed, you must understand that more prophecy must be fulfilled in order for him to come back and allow the Father to fulfill these prophecies before you. Don't be deceived yourself in pushing God's prophecy. For if you do, this is only going to cause you to be impatient. And with this in with you being impatient, you will fall away. And with you falling away, you will accept the false Messiah. And you will listen and heed to false doctrine. For Yeshua already told us, he, basically before he comes, before he comes, false messiahs and false grand messiah will appear will this is not a might this will happen before the true messiah comes and this is only a time of testing 
So that's why we must allow God's prophecies to be fulfilled. No matter if we're going through torture, no matter if we're going through uh, isolation, persecution, whatever, allow God's prophecies to be fulfilled. This is when endurance comes to play. Like I say, the time of testing. This is the time of testing of your faith. So when you see the false messiahs and the continued false prophets arise, will you heed the word of God or will you fall away and heed and listen to them? Judge them by the fruit. Test the spirit according to biblical sound doctrine. But how can you do that if you don't have the Holy Spirit? That's why I said it's important for you to repent of your sins. Be done with your sin and receive the Holy Spirit, for it is the Holy Spirit that will lead you in the last days. It is it is knowing scriptures hands down that will lead you in the last days. Yeshua warns us now and for years that many will die as mortars. But did you even give your heart did you even get your hearts ready for that? For many believe, oh, I will see the second coming of Yeshua. He doesn't understand this. This is what those in the Middle East said. But they're perishing one by one in persecution, in martyrdom. This is what many of those in Africa say. I'm waiting for the second coming of Yeshua. But many of them have died. I mean, wake up your eyes. Be real with yourself. Many of us, I'm not going to say you, many of us, even myself, may not see the second coming of Christ because of what? Persecution. We know of the great trouble. We know that the second, uh, uh, I'm sorry, we know that the sacrilegious object is to be erected. Daily sacrifices is to be abolished. We know that the Antichrist is due to reign and conquer and succeed in everything that he does for 42 months. We know that. Did you get your hearts ready for that? Or are you preparing for some false doctrine when it speaks about the uh, pre-tribulation rapture? Ain't no pre-tribulation rapture. i tell you that. Like I said, you don't see truth, don't subscribe. For the thing is, truth will hold fast in the time of testing. For at that point, many people have not prepared their hearts to suffer for Christ. So with that, they will indeed fall away. They will indeed fall away. This will be the second seed in the parable of the seeds. Many have held on to Christ. Many are holding on to Christ right now, holding on to a false doctrine, saying that they will be raptured before any type of tribulation. This is a belief that's only held in a prosperous nation, in a prosperous world like America. This false doctrine of the pre-trib rapture leaves you to be comfortable. This is something that you're used to. You're comfortable in it, so therefore you believe it. Look at the Middle East. They don't get a pre-rapture. They don't get no rapture. Every believer, whether you live in a sin or you're falling after God, you will go through the great tribulation. This is the filtering of God. Like I say, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, you don't have to believe me, but the truth will stand in a time of testing. At least your ears were able to hear that the words I speak is from the Father. The words I speak is from the Son. The words I speak is from the Holy Spirit. This is a time of testing. You must be worthy to access the kingdom of heaven. Study and read the book of Revelation. Study and read the book of Daniel. Study and read the book of Ezekiel and the book of uh, Isaiah. And you will see that these things are true. Study and read the book of Malachi. And you will see that these things are true. For there will come false messiahs. 
they will come false messiahs, and I'm believing the the strongest false messiah that will come. The Muslims, the Islam, Islams are waiting on their false messiah, Isa. His name is Isa. With that, it will, he will deceive the whole world. In the statistics that I looked up earlier this week, it says that by 2020, Muslims will make up, or Muslims will over uh, overpower the Christian population. Muslims in atheisms, atheism will be head to head as far as overpowering Christianity. Are our eyes not woken up yet? Are we still in blindness? I mean, my brothers and sisters, this is before tribulation, before great persecution. Imagine when the persecution happens. The thing is, like I said, that Christianity is hated throughout the whole world, no matter if you're a Muslim, no matter if you're atheism, no matter if you're worldly or of, or of a different religion. No one hates Christianity because the thing is, it convicts them, all right? It convicts them of wrongdoing. No one loves Christianity. So in these last days, yes, Christianity will be brought down to a minority, a great minority. That's why I'm not surprised when Yeshua comes at his second coming. In the book of Revelation, it says 144,000 were preserved. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, to be real with you, I won't be surprised if there's 144,000 left in the world still having the, have not denounced Yeshua's name, nor his father's name. They will be the ones that have not been persecuted to death and tortured for 42 months after giving over to the Antichrist. You have to really think about it, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, while you're waiting on a pre-trib rapture. This pre-trib rapture that you're waiting on is false, given by seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. You need to get your hearts and your minds ready to be persecuted. Study the book of Revelation. For many of you will be in jail, and I myself will be in jail, but I will accept it for Yeshua's name. Many of you will be killed for Yeshua's name. And many of you will be preserved. But at the same time, you must endure the hate. You must endure the increase of lawlessness. You must endure through the prosperity of the worldliness. You must endure and hold on to biblical sound doctrine for 42 months. Do you not, do you not know how long three and a half years is? Or are you blinded, waiting on a pre-trip rapture? Open up your eyes, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Like I said, truth will stand in a time of testing. Like Apostle Paul says, do not be easily shaken when you hear that the end has come. Isn't he not giving us a heads up of this pre-trib doctrine false belief? For there will come a false belief that people were taken away. Apostle Paul said, do not be easily, easily, easily shaken. Saying that, the time, that, that the, saying that the end has come. For many people who believe that the uh, um, that once the rapture occurs, those who remain they will suffer persecution. Basically, saying that this 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 is the end. But Apostle Paul says this before it has even happened. Happen. Don't be easily shaken. So when you hear the whole world is all panicking, going crazy, let the world panic. But the believers in Christ, you should be sober in spirit. You should almost be in joy because you know that these prophecies, these things must happen before your Messiah comes. 
Can I rejoice while the world mourns and and are in confusion? I mean, be real with yourself. Pastor Paul said, don't be easily easily shaken. For many will come and say, oh, the world, the end of the world is near. He said, many people will come in spirit saying that they receive vision and dreams. He's basically saying to summarize it, do not believe him. Do not believe them. And I don't believe them. Like I said, my brothers and sisters, you dreaming about Yeshua's coming is truth. It's a fact. Because the thing is, you must have a testimony to hold on before the false Messiah comes. But when the false Messiah comes, the false Messiah will denounce everything that God has told you. He will say that the Holy Scriptures are a lie. The Holy Bible is a lie and that Jesus is not the Son of God. But the dreams and the visions that you receive, Christ is basically saying, I give you my word. Hold on to my word. There's someone that's coming, and this is only to test the world. For he spoke to one of the churches in the book of Revelation. He said, I will keep you from the hour of trial of testing that is going to come upon the whole world to test those who dwell on this earth. Do you not know this a keeping you from is not a taking you away. This is keeping you from being deceived. For when this false messiah comes, or when these false messiahs come, the Lord will reveal to you through his Holy Spirit that this is not the Messiah. This is only but a deception. Hold fast. Endure. You will see the fault. You will see the true Messiah. Do not accept the false Messiah. For those who do not hold on to the true Messiah, do not hold on to the, to the true commandments of the Lord, they will follow after these false messiahs. They will follow after the the fault the false messiah Esau, which is of the uh, Muslim religion. He this and understand this, my brothers and sisters, and Yeshua. For when it comes to these false messiahs, and when it comes to this grand messiah that is supposed to rule the world for forty two months, three and a half years. Many will flock to them. Many will go to them to see them. Even Christ warned us in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. He said they will be hiding in this, and many people will tell you to go see them. He said do not go. But you must understand when Yeshua comes, you don't have to go out and see him. Yeshua will send his angels to come get you. So if someone comes knocking at my door, talking about a false messiah, saying, oh, he's out in the woods, he out, he's out in a special place, he's on the top of Jerusalem, the mountains, come and see him. No, I'm not going to come and see him. Because Yeshua said in scriptures that he will send forth his angels to come get me. This is a delivery pickup, Okay. So they say, oh, go see him. No. If he's the true Messiah, he will come get me from where I'm at. Either I'm at home, okay? Either I'm at work, all right? Either I'm asleep in my bed. But you hear in scriptures, the Lord says, one will be taken, the other the other one left. One will be lying in the bed. That's a husband and a wife. One will be taken, the holy angels is taking one and leaving the other. One will be working at the mill. The other one will be the other one will be, will be left. The holy angels. Christ said he will send forth his angels to gather his elect. So why would I need to go and look for him when he is sending forth his angels to gather me, to take me and the rest of my peoples throughout the world? Keep your eyes open for liars and those who have been deceived. Many people, they don't know that they're false because they have been deceived and they're holding on to the teachings of liars, to the teachings of those who truly seek to deceive and those who refuse to hold on to biblical sound doctrine, refuse to go back to prayer and seek the Lord. 
They will listen to these false prophets. They will listen to these false teachers. This is also a part of a great falling away because you refuse to hold on to sound doctrine. Where in doctrine, you must show me, where in doctrine does it say that there's going to be a, a secret taken away? This is all assumption. There will be many false messiahs that will appear contradicting the word of God, saying that the Bible is corrupted. But the Lord has revealed himself to you, giving each and every one of you a testimony to hold on to when these false messiahs appear with their deception. In the book of Revelation, if you study, it says that we held on to our testimony of Jesus Christ and had not denounced his name. He's doing this right now. He speak, Christ is speaking to you right now before the false messiahs, before the false messiah is revealed and is allowed to reign for 42 months. Christ is telling you, basically, hold on. I've revealed myself to you. And what I've revealed myself, what i revealed to you, this false messiahs and false messiah will come contradicting what I have revealed to you. This is what you hold on. He doesn't understand that, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Yes, your dreams, your visions is a testimony to you. So when the false messiah from the Muslim Religion comes For everyone will flock to them Like I said They said by 2020 Muslims or Islams Will overpower Christianity Everyone will flock To this Muslim Jesus But the true Messiah himself He has already given you a testimony Your own personal testimony That you will hold on In the time of these testings but he said they refused to let go of their testimony. And they died for his name. They were willing to die for Yeshua's name. Let no man deceive you, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Keep the Lord in your heart. Hold on to his testimony that he's revealing to you. For the one that is coming is not the Messiah. For he must come the the false messiah must come first the false messiah must come first judge the tree by its fruit if he con contradicts the holy scriptures he is not the messiah but at that time you will know that this is the time of testing this is the time of testing but after that why the whole world rejoices Believing that this is the Messiah. He says, when you hear of peace and safety, when you hear of peace and security, that means more of God's people would have denounced his name, following after the false Messiah, thinking that he is the true Messiah. Thinking that they have been lied and that the Muslim uh, religion is the true religion. Jesus says, when they live in this comfort, prosperity, he said it would be as in the days of Noah, full out lawlessness and rebellion and having turned their heart from true doctrine to falsehood. He said it would be as in the days of Lot and as in the days of Noah. But this false Messiah would be bringing prosperity to the whole world. He said, when you hear of peace and safety, when you hear of peace and prosperity, boom, then that's when sudden destruction occurs. For that will be a time of testing. Many will have fallen away, but you must endure. This is the reason God sends you dreams. This is the reason God sends you visions. Not that he's coming immediately now. 
but the false messiah will come attempting to deceive you but you will look back at your dreams you will look back at your visions and says no what he says contradicts my dreams if she will say hold on to your dreams if they are biblical hold on to your visions if they are biblical but this is the time of testing would you listen to what he revealed to you in dreams and visions or would you listen to a false messiah who comes in the, in the works of Satan to deceive you this is the great time of testing my brothers and sisters in Yeshua not everyone will access the kingdom of heaven trust and believe that take care endure